It's currently one of the hardest tables to get in town, so today we're taking you inside Libertine. In a city full of a gazillion restaurants and many French bistros, what would you say sets Libertine apart from the rest? I think we're inspired more by regional French instead of the more mainstream city French. I think that uh, we don't need to have french fries to be a French restaurant. We don't need to have steak to be a French restaurant. We can kind of highlight grandma-style French food, and uh, that's what we celebrate. So this was kind of your idea to open this place? Yeah, I spent a lot of time when I was, when I was younger in, in rural France with my family. We weren't French, but we, instead of going to summer vacation or summer camp, we went to France. And uh, yeah, this was inspired over years of just kind of wanting the real thing. What do you hope the experience is for people who come dine here? Just deliciousness and an escape. Uh, the city's kind of crazy. Even in the West Village, we're beautiful and picturesque over here, but it's, it's fast paced. And if you can take two hours, three hours and a couple bottles of wine and mm. a bunch of raw beef and duck and have a good evening, then I did my job. Oh my goodness, everything looks so yummy. Max, I know you've been busy in the kitchen. What did you choose to bring out today? So in front of us, we've got our duck de façon, which is one of our most popular dishes. Uh, then we've got the scalloped and seaweed. So the scallop here goes in raw on top of some melted leeks. And then it's topped with a hollandaise where we infuse the butter with seaweed. Um, so it all comes out kind of warm, but the scallop is still raw. Uh, mm. And then the rice pudding done not super traditionally, or at least simply. Mm -hmm. uh, we have some candied hazelnuts on the bottom, and then the rice pudding we cook with milk, um, and we add a little bit of creme anglaise, and then we fold in the meringue at the end, and then on top of it is an Armagnac caramel. Keep singing. And then Cody, you mix up some drinks for us. Yeah, yeah, uh, we have three different styles of drinks here. We, I'm, I'm inspired by uh, classic cocktails or more lesser known forgotten French cocktails. Uh, or their original versions of such, and we just kind of take them into a spit on them. Over here is our French 75, uh, which we use Blanche Armagnac. Uh, French 75s are either gin or cognac. In our case, we use white brandy. Then over here, we have the Champs Lisee cocktail. It's kind of like a last word cocktail, and it's uh, a very old recipe that we just kind of deconstructed and reconstructed. So there's yuzu, there's brandy, there's lemon. It's bright, it's herbaceous, it's refreshing. And then this is our top selling cocktail, which is the classic martini, which we serve from our freezer. So it is ice cold and pre-diluted with mineral water. And it comes out just as cold, just as perfectly balanced every single time. Mm, this is the way to end a meal. Well, this was delightful. Thank you guys so much. I can't wait to come back. Our pleasure.